Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. And today we got some really exciting things to talk about. Now, we're gonna talk about RDNA 4's launch date. We're also going to talk about the tariffs that are apparently hitting the RTX 5000 series card. Now, if I have some more time, I wanna to touch on a few things that are happening over in the console. We recently heard that the uh, Forza Horizon 5 franchise is going to make an appearance on the PlayStation 5 as well as another game was just announced, Age of Mythology. So if I have enough time, I'll get into that. If not, we're just probably gonna cover these PC stories. Now, first, let's talk about RDNA 4. Now, it's been a disappointing launch to say the least. Now, at CES 2025, we got a little bit of information. We got some information on the machine learning capabilities of RDNA 4. And we really didn't get a deep dive in it. We got to see some of this in action on some of the unannounced RDNA cards. Apart from that, we didn't get anything. We were expecting a full presentation at CES. Now, everybody was wondering what was going on because the launch date, it was leaked and retailers already had the card. So to our surprise, it just wasn't shown at the event. And we haven't really heard that much ever since. So today we finally got a response from Frank Azor over at AMD and he went on to say that RDNA 4 cards are coming in early March. Now, I was excited with this news and I responded on X saying, great news, now can we see the RDNA 4 full presentation? I honestly feel that if you can uh, show these cards that you'll prevent many gamers from getting a 5070 or 5070 Ti. Show this before those cards launch. And I, I went on to say that this is just a huge opportunity for AMD to get some gamers mind share. Now he said, yes, the full details are coming soon. So I would take that as a response as that it's gonna come out at a, around the time that the 5070 and 5070 Ti is coming out. We're gonna get some information on these cards. Now, in my honest opinion, this makes the most sense because a lot of gamers, they're looking at the 5070, the 5070 Ti, you know, they're thinking that AMD is not gonna compete on that level because we really haven't seen that much out of these cards. So if you can showcase these cards getting performance around a 5070 Ti or even greater at a much better price point, you better believe that a lot of gamers would think twice about getting that card and perhaps would invest in the AMD card. Now, traditionally AMD has been very good for raster. They've always been good at raster performance. Where they fall behind is their machine learning and their ray tracing capabilities. Nvidia's just been so far ahead of them. Even the RDNA 3 cards, you know, if you had like a 7900 XTX, it was okay at 1440p, but it still wasn't coming anywhere near what Nvidia cards could do at 4K. Now they have an opportunity with these 9070 and 9070 XT cards to really give Nvidia some competition. Now we're hearing that it has machine learning AI capability, so it's not going to be like FSR 3. FSR 4 is going to be more closely like DLSS. Now, I don't know what iteration of DLSS is going to be like. If I had to go on a limb, I'll say it's be as good, you know, perhaps as DLSS 3. We're going to have to wait and see. And, you know, obviously we're going to get a deep dive on all of the um, changes that they've made to their machine learning AI on their cards. Now, this is coming soon. So we're going to get all of these details. No longer will we have to speculate on that. Now I said this is awesome news and I thanked him for the response and I said I just wanna say that gamers want these cards really competitively priced, not just $50 off, you know, like $100 off and you know, have the performance on par with the 5070 Ti and if it's greater than that, then I think it could be disruptive. And he went on to say, we're listening, thank you for the constructive feedback. So honestly, I my expectations have gone up. Now I'm still tempering my expectations because I still wanna see what these cards are capable of, but we don't have that long to wait. Now, Frank Azure has confirmed that it's going to be soon. He also confirmed that these cards are coming out in early March. So that's roughly less than a month away. So I'm just excited. And of course, when they do their presentation, I'll stream it on the channel. You guys will be able to uh, see it and react in real time with me. And uh, once again, AMD's cards are coming early March and we're going to get the presentation and the pricing and of course the performance of these new cards really soon. Now I also wanna discuss the 50, 80 and 50, 90 going up in price. Now when I'm looking at some of the prices of these cards, they've gone up anywhere from 400 to $600. And this is due to the 10% increase on tariffs from the US. Now, this is just raising the price of these products. Now, I don't understand because 
I'm located in Canada and I don't understand why it costs more to send it to us. I guess they're just going to raise it 10% more overall, you know, across the board for everybody. And when you really think about it, everything is made in China, everything. So all of the prices of our electronics are going to go up by at least 10%. Then we're hearing that there's another set of tariffs that are due to expire in May and this will increase by 25%. So are we looking at a 35% increase in tariffs from anything that's coming out of China? That's absolutely crazy. That would put these cards at such a high price. This is why I'm really curious to see the price of these AMD cards. Now with these tariffs coming into effect, they have to factor that into the prices but I still believe that they can undercut Nvidia's price. Now we actually have a response from one of the Canadian distributors, one of the bigger retailers, and they responded with this following quote. Now this is coming courtesy of um, Reddit. So of course I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Now the response was to Sean and he goes, as of today, there are no tariffs between the US and Canada. So this is not an issue. There is however, an additional 10% tariff added to some of the goods from China to the US. So this could result in a price increase in tariff mitigated product from China that came to the US and then to Canada. It's unclear at this time if gigabyte Nvidia GPUs all come from Taiwan or if there's a mix. In any case, the tariff will already be added to the cost of the RTX 5000 series cards. So unlikely you'd notice a change since, a, since it's a new product. Uh, the challenge with the Nvidia card supply is very limited and will be for the remainder of the year. So will likely come from multiple countries of origin. I'm sorry to say people are going to pay a high price for Nvidia. So not really sure the 10% additional tariff will matter. The most important consideration will be availability. So we're getting confirmation that these cards are going to be very hard to obtain. That if they're coming from China, we're going to get a 10% tariff increase. Now, I don't know why so many cards in Canada have gone up in price because uh, from everything that everybody is telling me, these cards are coming direct from China. So they don't even cross the US. So why are we getting a 10% increase over the prices of yesterday? That part just doesn't make sense to me. Now, they're saying that some of them might be going through the United States. Okay, sure. But all of them can't be going through the United States. Yet all of the cards that are available in Canada have gone up in price. So make that make sense. And once again, this is showing you that we are going to get hit with these cards. We're going to get hit in the price. 10% on like $2,000 is like a $200, $250 increase in price. And then you got to add in our exchange rate. That adds even more. And then you got to add in the greed from these people because they got to make their money. So they add in a little bit more as well. So this is why I think it's important that gamers want AMD to succeed. I think now is a very crucial time for AMD in the GPU market, at least the desktop market, because it's just not competitive with AMD. I'm not saying their stuff isn't good, but they just cannot compete with Nvidia with machine learning AI with the ray tracing capabilities. And these new RDNA 4 cards, they can actually do that. They have machine learning AI capabilities. And from what I've seen, it looks really good. It looks comparable to what I'm seeing with DLSS 3. The ray tracing performance, we haven't really seen a lot of it. But it's been touted to be like four times better than what AMD had before. That is a huge improvement because it wasn't too good before. So if they're able to be competitive with a 5070 Ti, and even say a 5080, and they offer a substantial difference in price, like a $100, $200 difference in price, I really think it could change the market. And I think it'd be good overall. I think it would bring some of these NVIDIA cards down because they have no competition. So they're just running wild. And gamers are going out there and purchasing these cards. Look how people are trying to get these 5090 cards and they're like $2,000. If you're in another country, even more. The 5080s, you can't find them. And there's more of them in circulation and the price is pretty high. 
but they're selling out as soon as they make an appearance. So now would be the perfect time when Nvidia doesn't have a lot of supply. Gamers aren't ecstatic to get their cards, but feel like it's the only choice. Now's the perfect storm for AMD to come in and be disruptive. Offer a very competitive price, and I hope that these cards have fantastic performance. And to be honest with you, after my interaction today with Frank, I believe that they are. I believe that they will perform a lot better than people are expecting them to perform. I am tempering my expectations, but at the same time, this is like do or die. It has to be fantastic. And I feel it's going to give Nvidia a run for its money. Now, I don't expect it to do path tracing. That would be fantastic, but that's not something I'm expecting it to do. I expect it to be very competitive with ray tracing and machine learning performance. Now, if it can do multi-frame gen, that would be great. But I'm not completely sold on multi-frame gen. Multi-frame gen is good if you're trying to push your monitor, but it comes at a cost of latency. You know, you're going to get some artifacts like we're seeing. Now, if you're running one times uh, multi-frame gen from a very high frame rate, then that's fine. But the, the multi-frame gen, at least for me personally, I'm not that interested in it. And I think a lot of gamers, they kind of seen through um, NVIDIA's benchmarks and they've come to the conclusion too that it's just, you know, it's something nice to have, something that you can do in some games, but it's not something that you can really judge the performance of the GPU on. So they don't need to match that. So once again, if they have fantastic ray tracing, fantastic machine learning, frame gen, which I know they're going to have because they already have it, and they make improvements and the image quality is good and the performance is good and the price is good and they have availability of these cards, I think it could be a very disruptive product. We already know that retailers have these cards because they already were to come out. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but you know what? We don't have that much more longer to speculate. They announced today that these cards will be in the hands of gamers in early March and that very soon we're going to know all the specs, the prices, the performance of these cards. Now, these tariffs, obviously, it's going to affect AMD as well. But if they're coming in at a much lower price point and if they're coming in now knowing what the tariffs are, they can price it a lot lower and make NVIDIA look really bad. So... It's, it's good and bad. It's good for AMD because they have an opportunity here to get some gamers mind share. But it's also bad that these products are going to go up 10%. We're hearing that in May, another 25% is going to expire and that they're going to go up an additional 25%. So that would be 35% altogether. Uh, I don't know how we'd be able to afford a lot of these techs because most of the stuff that we get, especially electronics, is coming out of China. You know, if you look at some of your apparel, look at some of your shoes, they're made in China. So anything that's coming from China that goes through the U.S. is going to see a 10% increase in price. Come May, if things aren't figured out, another 25% on top of that. So this is not the platform for that, but at the same time, it is going to affect us because we do buy these GPUs and they are coming from China. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about all of this. I wanted to touch a little bit about the... Um, Xbox games coming over to the PlayStation, but what more can we really say about this? All of the games, they're going to be coming. Some of them are going to be coming day and date, like Age of Mythology. Some of them are going to come after the fact, like Forza Horizon 5. Some of them are going to be six months, like Indiana Jones. And I think Starfield's going to come later this year. Um, I think maybe South of Midnight might come six, seven months down the road. But the majority of Xbox titles are going to make an appearance on the PlayStation 5. Halo is going to be the next big title that is going to hit. And once Halo hits the PlayStation 5, I think that's when it's going to really hit a lot of Xbox gamers. But we've beat this horse to death. However, it was in the news and I said earlier that I didn't want to touch on it. So, hey, I kept my word. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think about all of today's stories in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the RDNA 4 cards. Let me know what you think about the 5000 series from Nvidia and of course the tariffs. Like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.